I want you to hear the story that's, that's in my heart yeah. and how I got him. I was 16 years old and I was sitting in front of the TV with my mom. Mom and I were so close and we was watching the Belmont. And as I watched Secretary run the Belmont, which his record still stands today, 31 lengths, the tears rolled down my face. And I looked at Mama and I said, Mama, I said, what would it feel like to ride a horse like that? Much less even touch a horse like that. And she told me, she said, Annie's worth $6.5 million. I don't think we can afford that, but we can pray and God can afford anything. Well, I did. And I kept that in my heart for so many years. And I rode and trained all my life, you know, up and down the East Coast and did very well with the horses, very well with the horses. And then in um, 2011, Dave and I moved here in February. We have 16 acres here on Double M. And he says, well, Annie, we got plenty of room. He says, why don't you get you a horse? I said, Dave, I don't have to. I said, God's got a special horse that he wants me to have. I'm the Breeders' Cup. Mm -hmm. But hey, he's my Kentucky Derby winner. We know what he can do. He's a lot of horse. I mean, a lot of horse to ride. I knew I was riding something that I would never have the opportunity to ride again in my life. Didn't even know he was a registered thoroughbred. That was on a Tuesday, and I got him that, um, that Saturday. And um, easy, easy, easy. Did you know the connection to the secretary? No, no, I didn't. And the only way that I knew when we got him home, we didn't know anything about him, nothing about his lineage, nothing at all. Every race and thoroughbred has a tattoo under their lip. I flipped his lip up because I knew about thoroughbreds because I was, you know, an exercise girl, you know, in South Carolina. I flipped up his lip and I read his tattoo and I turned around to my husband. I said, we're going to find out who this boy I is. I went in there and got on the computer in the jockey club and it popped up Gentleman Breck. And I was, I was, was reading his lineage. I looked and there was the... It's the great, great grandson of Secretariat. I had al you know, almost given up my dream and my hope of ever having a horse like this. God never did. I couldn't believe this. And I, t I, I said, Lord, thank you. Thank you for letting me be able to, to own a horse of this magnitude. He'll never be put back on the track. He just raced right into my life.